Hello everyone. How are you? My name is Vikas and I'll today show you how to use Hive, one of the most powerful warehouse tool where you have process thousands of rows to the database and check your analysis skills. Who is invent Hive? As you know, Facebook in 2008 whenever it goes to the problem with huge amount of data to get analyzed so facebook invent hive on a hadoop distributed file system so hive is the most powerful tool here in industry to analyze big data so first start your virtual machine and start your machine with a complete installation with hadoop and hive so i am start here here my virtual machine is started let's talk about hive history when hive is started in 2008 invented by facebook and after that facebook donate this complete project to the apache software foundation and after that it's a most popular most popular software and database warehouse tool at top of apache software foundation and now hundreds and thousands of companies in IT and technology world used Hive to process and analyze log data and make predictive analysis like IBM, IBM, Twitter and Facebook and sub, um, biggest retailer Walmart also install, install and use Hive to process data. So here I'll show you today demo is based on creating hive table making a process access data in hive table and how to create hive and how to start hive all those things are depend upon today's video i'll discuss step by step so whenever we start hive let's first check your hadoop daemons start or not we need hadoop all of daemons job tracker task tracker and name node and data nodes so I'll start my terminal here and simple command to get started all of daemon start all dot sh so I'll start my terminal here first here is my terminal started now and now another terminal I needed for a hive terminal hive commands so one of the terminal here and I start my all JPS press JPS to check all of demons are started or not here are JPS press here is the note Hadoop started right now so press start all dot assets start your Hadoop daemon and now name node is starting yeah first thing I just uh, make you you know uh, whenever the these demons are started this is a log generator every demon is generate your its own log name node is independent and it's generate its own log same as it is data nodes also generate log for their process as same job tracker task tracker all of these machines all of these demons are started and they generate logs and in logs file as you know all of things only all of your commands all of your errors on these demons are stored in this location this these are location in local file system location so press jps to check all of daemon are working or not here you here you see this process id and task tracker is running jps is running secondary name node is running data nodes is also running job tracker is running and name node and it means all of hadoop daemons hadoop core are running so okay that's good and now i press hive to start my hive and here okay hive is started and whenever hive is started create a session to uh, make a commands so here hive are started and i'll I'll tell you my hive is config with MySQL all of MetaStore which was created which will create in 
uh, we have tables and meta store are stored in MySQL. So we just have to start MySQL here. MySQL here okay press jps i'll show you which one is the hive same as it as here you see task tracker jps secondary name node data node job tracker and name node but here when we start hive here is another one run jar it means it's a jar file which have a virtual machine and this virtual machine work for hive okay and this process id for this process is 3946 so here is hive is started check how much database in hive so press command show databases sorry here is some error sorry it's a command problem i split some commands Okay. It's taking some time because it's slow the memory. Okay. Okay. Here is the two table. Okay. Okay is the high uh, return statement and with two of the uh, tables here. One of the default which was by default generated tables and another one is AD. Okay. So it means how these tables meta store also is stored in MySQL. Here I'll show you which database are used. Which databases is a meta store DB. Meta store DB for Hive meta store tables. So use Data change check how much tables here. These are the tables are stored high meta store. Okay, check which one is here. Two tables are default was the high default table and another one is AD. Okay, these are two tables use ad ad is empty now okay uh, i'll create here another table okay show databases uh, here two databases okay use ad I'll use AD to create a table. This one of the database name, which was work as namespace here. This namespace generate a table, uh, which was the store where location. I'll show you all of the things here. So create table command here. user table I'll create here create table user id int and name string and show it's create or not user table is created ok Describe user to see the structure of user. Here we create int id and string for name. So I'll show you these. Uh, this table meta store. Meta store is the structure of table, and this structure of table also is stored in MySQL. Where is store? I'll show you. This database. So here is the two row for database. 
where is store this was the location of hadoop distributed file system it means it's store in sdfs where is store it's ad db folder in sdfs warehouse hive user hive warehouse so create another terminal here i'll create a, another terminal here and i go to the location where it's pointed on mysql user hive warehouse db so as you know hadoop fs ls command is show all of things here user hive uh, directory here is the warehouse another one directory and in warehouse directory here is the ad okay ad here is the ad warehouse ad okay here is also ad here is the adodb and user it means when we create your user table here describe user and ad is the name space here so uh, its name space used here to store make a as a uh, treat as a folder so i'll show you how it is work and it's show here addb user and it's empty now because we don't insert any of data into table okay so here is the nothing nothing to show in sdfs so it's empty now and this was the folder uh, so whenever we create a structure of the hive it's a create a, a as a folder structure and these folder structure are stored in sdfs as i show you these are the directory warehouse where ad is the database name addb it's work as a like a name space and it's work like as a folder also and this user table when we create another table in a this this same database create another table i'll show you this was create as a folder structure in user one and here here you see another folder like user one user db here here when i press ad command here show one of the directory is here username user only because we have only one table here in hdfs in hive okay here is the two which one user one which was which was currently created create table user one okay the same as it is when i create a database ad1 when i create a database ad1 ad1 also stored here i'll show you i'll show you where is the structure ads it means here is the tree i'll show you here check it here 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 is the here two databases ad only single database and default was the default but check here when i create another database ad1 it means it's a meta store it's all meta store of ad1 which was created on hive which was stored in hdfs as a folder structure i'll show you here here ad1 also generated in a warehouse location hdfs here ad1 and ad okay so today's session uh, to show how hive work uh, as like a, in hdfs and hive is how its meta store store in mysql oracle whatever you want to store its meta store okay so thank you so much if you like video and education so please subscribe our channel thank you so much